Endurance is setting aside privileges which weaken me or others. We're learning about endurance. Hebrews 12.3 says, For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Yesterday we read, Endurance is setting aside privileges which weaken me or others. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Romans 14, 21. I taught you about the Eastern box turtle. My children drew a turtle yesterday. We discussed how the turtle lives in the eastern part of the United States. Here's the world map. This is the eastern part of the United States. We heard a story about how the endurance of the turtle was lacking. He overindulged in food, so he could not endure in keeping his shell shut. Therefore, Mr. Raccoon was able to eat this beautiful Eastern box turtle. Let me tell you about turtles in scripture. Leviticus 11.29 says, These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel and the mouse and the tortoise after his kind. The Hebrew word, which is translated here as tortoise, means lizard, although it may refer to several species of tortoise. The Moorish tortoise is common throughout Palestine. Although the Israelites were forbidden to eat it, the flesh of this tortoise is highly esteemed by a Palestinian bird, the ossifrage. In order to reach the flesh, these birds carry the tortoise high into the air and drop it to the ground until the tortoise's shell shatters. Also included in this category of tortoise was the Arabic dab, which lives in the rocky terrain of Palestine. The Hebrew word for tortoise means canopy. It comes from a root, which means to establish. This could refer to the fixed established home God provided for the turtle, its shell. The tortoise is safe from its predators as long as it remains inside its shell. We have the same security in our heavenly father. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and it is safe. Proverbs 18, 10. There was a song that we sang when I was growing up, that is that exact verse. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. I'm not a singer, but if you know that song, um, let me know in the comments. We talked about the carapace being its established home. And tomorrow I will tell you about the carapace. <laughs>